this particular seahorse has chronic gas bubble disease. You want him to wrap around your finger uh, with your thumb free so you can manipulate the pouch um, and you want to wait until he calms down. This particular male is fairly calm because we've done this before. This is a 20 gauge catheter with the needle removed. It's Teflon and it's flexible. Um, it allows you to open up the pouch and remove the air without damaging any of the tissue around it. Uh, then you're going to put gentle pressure on the pouch and slowly wiggle back and forth until you get in the pouch. And depending on the male, it can take a while. Now you can see some small bubbles coming out. Let's see if we can't get more to come out. And this too can be a bit of a process uh, just because it can get in the various nooks and crannies. Holding the seahorse upright helps. Oh, and it looks like he also has an egg in there. Uh, this is not uncommon to find seahorses that are pregnant that also have air in their pouch. It's not exactly clear why that happens. Um, they can actually come to term with it, but generally you should try and treat the father before worrying about the babies. Um, and one thing you don't wanna do is rub the pouch. I'm just applying gentle pressure to release the air while holding it open by wiggling the catheter back and forth. Sometimes the air will come out of the end of the catheter, sometimes directly out of the pouch. Just gonna wiggle this a little more. Yeah, and there comes a bunch of eggs and a bunch of air. Now, sometimes when you do this, um, if they're pregnant, they will just abort the rest of the babies. Uh, but again, your concern is with the father. Seahorses breed very easily. He'll have babies again. And that's pretty much all there is to it. And now he can swim normal again.